Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I'm going to go over a natural hair dictionary because us naturals have created so many words and terms and abbreviations that we've pretty much created our own language. Do you speak natural? Now although I've been a curly girl my entire life, I still get comments from you guys leaving certain curly hair terminology that I just don't know what they mean. Now there are so many terms that I'm not going to be able to go over all of them. I'm just going to go over the ones that I hear most often and I think will be most beneficial to you. And some of these words I feel like someone just made up and they're like really trying to have catch on. Like stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. We're going to learn all these words together. ACV rinse. ACV stands for apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is supposed to seal the cuticle and make your hair really shiny and get rid of any dandruff. Bantu knots. Bantu knots is a hairstyle, it's also a protective hairstyle for curlier natural hair. You can leave them as is or a bantu knot out which is how your hair looks after you take out the bantu knot creating a different type of curl pattern. Co-wash. Now this does not mean to take a shower with your co-workers. No, it doesn't. Co-wash is when you actually skip the shampooing process and you only use conditioner. Nappiversary! This is the day where you decided you were gonna go natural and you stopped relaxing your hair. No poo. Now this, this one, this was one of the first terms that I had, you know, to figure out. Turns out it does not mean constipation. No poo is deciding to not use any shampoo. This method makes you just use your conditioner, that way you can retain all the moisture and oils in your hair and you're not stripping anything from using the detergents that might be found in the shampoo. And now my favorite curly girl word of all, the pineapple. And no, I'm not talking about the fruit. The pineapple, also in its verb form of pineappling, is when you actually do a protective hairstyle where you put all of your hair at the top of your head and put it into a ponytail so when you go to sleep at night, it keeps your curls from being smushed and getting frizzy. You take it out in the morning and your hair is perfect. <sighs> Such a genius idea. Product junkie. No, this does not mean you are some type of crackhead. Well, kind of. But instead of being addicted to drugs, you're addicted to curly hair or natural hair products, which is a lot better than being addicted to drugs. Being a product junkie means you buy everything that says curly, natural, frizz-free, or curl-defining just in hopes that it does something for your hair. And if it works, you still buy other products because you have to try them all. Plopping. This is not a cute word, but pretty much Every time I tell you guys to use a t-shirt instead of a towel and you're drying your hair, I guess it actually has a term which is called plopping. So it's when you plop your head over and you get the towel and you plop your curls into the towel to dry them. Did we need a word for that? I don't know, but someone made it and it's called plopping. Protective styling. This does not mean that you have a gun and a sword and you are ready to protect yourself while you're doing your hair. It's actually something quite more simple. This just means you're doing braids, twist outs, buns, ponytails. These hairstyles protect your hair from dehydration and any damage. Second day hair. That does not mean that you were bald two days prior. Second day hair means that you washed your hair yesterday and today you just did a little bit of fluffing and it still looks amazing because you're natural. Shrinkage. Shrinkage. Now for any of you guys watching out there, it's not what you think. But ironically enough, it's still one of a girl's worst nightmares. Shrinkage is when your hair looks like this, but you know in reality that your hair is actually this long and no one believes you. It is a phenomenon that scientists have not figured out yet so we could show our actual length of our hair. But in the meantime, we have to rock our very spiraled up curly hair and just embrace the volume that we've been given. Wash and go. Wash and go does not mean you just take a shower and you run outside. Don't do that. It's weird. Wash and go means you can quickly wash your hair, put about one or two styling products in it, and you're good to go. You're out the door. Slip. If someone says that something has good slip, it doesn't mean you have a good chance of falling. Slip is actually referred to something in your deep conditioner or regular conditioner or leave-in conditioner that allows your hair to be combed or brushed very easily. So if you are struggling to comb your hair after conditioner, 
your conditioner doesn't have good slip. But if you are just breezing through and it's getting all the tangles out, that is a good conditioner and it has a good amount of slip. Texturizer. Texturizer is a mild form of a relaxer. I have done two videos on this word and no matter how much I try to explain it, I still get confused questions. If you wanna know what a texturizer does, watch one of these videos because I show you how it's done. But regardless, a texturizer is something that loosens your natural curl pattern. So keyword, your natural curl pattern. If you don't already have curls, you have nothing to relax. So if one more person asks me if it works on straight hair, I'm gonna go crazy. Curl sponge. A curl sponge is this. This is a curl sponge. It's literally a giant sponge, looks like the ones you use to wash your car, and it has a whole bunch of holes in it. This is a new type of popular style for men. If you have short hair, some type of afro, you just rub this on your head and it makes these tight little coils, pretty much starting dreads for you. It's a very popular hairstyle right now. If you wanna know how to do it, watch my video. BSS. If someone is talking a lot of BSS, that does not mean it's one extra S than normal BS. It actually just stands for beauty supply store. Like Sally's. The BC. The BC stands for the big chop, which means you have decided to cut off all of your chemically relaxed hair and begin the process of your natural hair journey. Pre-poo. Pre-poo is not what you do before you go to the bathroom. Pre-poo is conditioning your hair with a mixture of oils before your shampoo. Therefore, the shampoo doesn't strip your hair of any natural oils. Now I'm gonna go over a list of abbreviations that are actually in regards to your hair length. And I had to write these down because there's just so many. <sighs> All right, so we have APL, BSL, SL, BSB, MBL and WL. APL stands for armpit length, meaning your hair goes to your armpit. BSL means bra strap length, so it means your hair goes to your bra strap. Where's your bra strap? Oh, this strap. See, we're learning together. SL is shoulder length, so it means your hair goes to your shoulders. BSB is below shoulder blade, so these are your shoulder blades. Oh yes, I've been working out. <laughs> so yeah, it goes pretty much to there. MBL is mid back length, so it goes mid back. And then WL is waist length. So according to this, this means that my hair would pretty much be ATNYL. Ain't touching nothing yet length. So those are all the natural hair terms I'm gonna include in this video. One, because I want the video to be too long, and two, I just realized that my audio hasn't been recording for the last hour. <sighs> yes, I know, I don't wanna talk about it. If you guys learned something today, please leave me a comment, let me know which words are new to you. And if you want me to do a part two video, I'll also leave some natural hair terms that you hear a lot and we can define those together. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday, so I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching, Bianca Renee, today.